Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Teacher, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Okay. Uh, again, be welcome to this new class. Today we have Claudia Yanet, Rufino Amilcar, Jenny Sanchez, Imelda Sanchez, Roberto Tovar. We have uh, Luis Enriquez and Luis Alonso Urias. Caray. Thank you. <laughs> full name okay yes, everybody's name. ready okay well let's begin um time is gold and time is money so let's do this i'm going to start sharing the screen with you um let's see yeah this is the one all right can you see the screen i'm sharing Yep. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Well, everybody be welcome once again. Um, I hope you have had a good day today. And this is uh, Inglés Intermedio Modulo 3. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again. This is Intermediate 3. And this is session, session number 5. And today is October the 17th of 2022 or 2022, as you prefer. Um, what are we going to do today? Well, basically, we have to continue with the topic from last time. And the topic from last time was past simple and past continuous. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my headset. Okay, it was past simple versus past continuous. And uh, first we're going to have a review of that. And then we're going to do the exercises that we couldn't do last time. So this is the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to use the past continuous and simple past to express an action, which was in progress in the past and got interrupted by another completed action. So let's begin. So um, as stated in the video, okay, um, which you should have watched by now, this is a timeline, okay? In the timeline, there's an earlier action and then there is a later action, okay? Which interrupts the first one. Example, you say, I was reading a book when you came. Okay, this is uh, the same information that you can find in the video explained by Ms. Jessica. And this is also in the video, right? It's all about past continuous versus past simple. So we use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past, and we use the simple past for a completed action. So this is basically what uh, we talked about last time. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at the boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. So again, that's the explanation from the video, but uh, our job is to, you know, my job in this case is to give more information. And uh, again, this is a review. We studied this last time. So we're going to do this quickly. So we use the past simple for complete actions in the past. Like what did you do last weekend? Okay, the weekend just passed. So let me ask you. Uh, let's see, Luis Alonso, what did you do last weekend? That was Saturday and Sunday. So many things. <laughs> uh, the microphone, sorry. Okay. The last weekend, uh, mm -hmm. I was, I was, um, I go to the beach. So you say, I went to the I beach. Went I went to the, to the beach. beach. Okay, the very beach. good. Yes. Okay, I'm going to ask everybody. Thank you, Luis. Claudia, Yanet, uh, can you tell us what did you do last weekend? We have to use past simple because these are complete actions in the past. Rest a lot. Of <laughs> you rested a lot, okay. And I do some some things of okay. the house. Okay, but if you say I do, that's the present. How do you say that in the past? I I not say. <laughs> okay, do do is the present form. What is the past of do? I did. Aha. Uh -huh. So what's the sentence? I did something, things around the house. Okay, very good. I did some things around the house. Excellent. 
Thank you, Claudia Yanet. And Rufino Milcar, what did you do last weekend? In the Saturday, in the Saturday I worked. Um, in you worked? Morning. Uh -huh. I worked in morning and the afternoon I, I came back mm -hmm. uh, my my home. Okay, that's good. And what about Sunday? Yesterday. On Sunday, I I went I went to the church. Okay, you went to church. Good. Family. Okay. Okay, sounds good. So Rufino Milker went to church with his family. How about Roberto Tovar? What did you do? Roberto Tovar, can you hear me? Hello. Um, I can't hear. <laughs> okay, but okay, we're going to move. All right. Uh, Imelda, what did you do last weekend? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, I worked both days. I worked both days. Okay. Uh, you must be tired. <laughs> did you work today no, too? No, because, uh -huh. because uh, I work only weekend. Ah, really? Yeah. So your yeah. job is on the weekends? Yeah. Ah, that's the kind of job I want. I want to work two days and rest five days. That's a great job. <laughs> ah, just kidding. Okay. Thank you, Imelda. Um, let's okay. continue. Jenny, Jenny, what did you do? On Sunday, I went to the grocery store mm -hmm. and bath my pets. In the afternoon, we went to eat pupusas. Wow, delicious. <laughs> On Sunday, uh, I rest all day. You rested all day. Good. Okay, very good. Luis Enriquez, what did you do last weekend? Oh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, on, on Saturday, I uh, made a lot of things. You did a lot home. of things uh -huh. at home. Okay. Yes, at home. And Sunday, uh, early, I, I went to, to pick up to my daughter. Okay. Who, who arrived to to the country from another country. Wow. Okay. So to, you went to the to, airport. Yeah, to the airport. Okay. That okay. Early and late, we went to eat. Pupusas. No. <laughs> yeah. Pupusas okay. Yeah. In pupusas. Las planas, okay. Yes. Yeah. Very good pupusas Thank in you. Las Planas. Okay. Nice. Thank you very much, uh, Olivia. Good night. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, on and Sunday uh, in the morning, I was at home mm -hmm. doing homework on, with my son. Okay. And the afternoon, I went to the church. Okay. Uh, to the supermarket. Okay, so you went to church and to the supermarket. Uh, on, okay. Um, so, Sunday uh, at church. I went okay. to the church. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Olivia. I'm going to ask now Natalie, Alejandra. What did you do? One or two sentences, just to uh, to make this a bit faster. <laughs> okay. Um, the last week, I... The last weekend, right? Last, uh, the last weekend, I, I went to play football. Okay. With my uh, friends to the job. Okay. For, with and your friends from work. Uh -huh. From work. Mm -hmm. uh, and I and I went to eat with my father. Okay, sounds great. Thank you very much. Let's see, Gladys. Okay, in in one sentence, en una oración, por, para que no se nos vaya tanto tiempo. What did you do last weekend? Gladys? No? Okay, then Sonia Guadalupe? Hi, good Hi. evening. Good evening. 
uh, last weekend I was uh, um, talking, <laughs> talking mm -hmm. photos. Taking for photos. For my work. Okay, talking. so in this case, you say, I took some photos for work. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Michelle Escobar. On Saturday, I took my niece to her dance class and after to her swimming class. Mm -hmm. And I spent the rest of the of the weekend at home. Okay, okay, good. Thank you. Francisco Isaac. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. Uh, good evening. Um, good evening. In, in Saturday, work every day. So you say on Saturday, yeah. I worked all day. I work all day. And in the morning, Sunday. And mm -hmm. in the night of Sunday, I, I visit my sister with my family. Okay, I we, visited my sister, you say, okay. Yes, my sister did a barbecue. Okay, you had a barbecue. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. Thank you. Um, what about Manuel Aristides? And then we finish with Jose Vega. Okay, Manuel. Hi, good evening. Good evening. And uh, in this past weekend, I mm -hmm. did three things. Okay. Um, number one, buy, uh, buy and shopping in the ferretería, como se dice. Uh, the hardware store. And the hardware uh, hard store. Okay, so and you say, I went, I went to the hardware store, you can say. I, I, I went, uh -huh. I went to the hardware store. Okay. Um, it took. Uh, paint the walls of the house. Okay. My house. Uh, okay, but using a complete uh, sentence, you say I painted the walls painted, of my house. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I painting the walls of of my house. Okay. And 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 the three mm -hmm. thing. Number three. And Sunday, uh -huh. I started the correct decoration for christmas for christmas oh my god yeah. we're in october <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> okay okay so you started you know decorating your house for christmas yeah okay. but, but this uh, started no okay no, okay, it's, okay. it's just, just the beginning just the beginning there's a lot of yeah. decorations okay <laughs> yeah yeah okay all right sounds good thank you very much uh what about jose vega you're the last one jose what did you do last weekend? Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, pues, in my the last weekend, I, I rest and take care of my son. Okay, and so you say, I rested and I took care. I took care of my son. Mm -hmm. And at night, watch cartoon movies with my son. Okay. Uh, and test the song of new uh, new bocina quiero ver the new speaker uh -huh, new speaker mm -hmm. yes okay so you tested your new speaker that's okay it. yes that's okay. It. okay sounds good all right thank you very much everybody for your yes. participation um we have to continue now uh with this so we use the past simple to complete for sorry uh complete actions in the past so what did you do last weekend you can say i went to the movies i played tennis i read a book i cleaned the windows i went to a concert i stayed home and today you mentioned many other activities you say i painted the rooms of my house i played with my son right i watched movies with my children i went to church etc cetera, etc cetera. so all those activities are complete they finished, okay? They are in the past because they began and they finished, okay? They are complete actions. So again, at the affirmative form, you use the subject and the verb in past, like Abraham worked in this company. My friends went to Mexico last month. In the negative form, you have to use the subject plus 
didn't, and then the verb in base form. Very careful, because in negative form, you have to use the base form of the verb. So Abraham didn't work in this company. My friends didn't go to Mexico last month. And uh, for the question form, you have to use did, which is the auxiliary at the beginning. Then you need the subject and then the verb in base form. So you say, did Abraham work in this company? Or uh, did your friends go to Mexico last month? That's the idea. But I want you to take a look at this. Only in the affirmative form, you're going to use the verb in past, OK? Only in affirmative sentences. In negative sentences and in questions, the verb goes back to base form. OK, that's very, very important. Now, what about this? We use the past continuous for incomplete ongoing actions at a specific moment in the past. So, for example, you say, what were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? When I ask you the question, what were you doing? I am not talking about a complete action. No, not this time. I am talking about an action that was in progress at a specific moment in the past. In this case, the specific moment in the past is 10 a.m., okay? So what were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? This person says, I was walking the dog in that moment. I was working at the office. I was doing exercise. I'm not going to ask everybody. I need volunteers. Uh, let's change the question to what were you doing yesterday, Sunday, yesterday at 10 a.m.? Who wants to answer? You need to use the past continuous, like the examples. What were you doing yesterday morning at 10 a.m.? Okay, Imelda. I was searching some information at computer. Okay, I was searching some information on my computer, right? On the internet, I imagine. Okay, good, good. Someone else? Luis. Yesterday, Sunday at 10 a.m., I was driving on the road. Okay, you were driving on the road. Great, thank you. Uh, Luis Alonso? Or, no sé si él levantaba la mano o si era un aplauso lo que aparecía. Bueno. No, excuse uh, me. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. Yesterday at 10 a.m., I was swimming in the sea. Okay, I was swimming at the sea, really? Yes. Nice. Okay, very nice. Okay, so um, one more person, please. What were you doing yesterday at 10 a.m.? One more person. Okay, two more people. Three, okay, Natalie, then Rufino, and then Jose. Pega. So Natalie first, ladies first. Um, yesterday I was cleaning the, the house. Okay, at 10 a.m. Yes. Okay, good, thank you. Uh, Rufino Milcar. I, I was hitting, mm -hmm. I was hitting uh, the in my I'm sorry, you're, you're breaking up. Se le escucha como cortado, entrecortado. Okay. I, I was here in my pastor in my church. Ah, okay. So you were listening to the pastor at the church. Yes. Ah, yes. okay. Okay. All right. Good. So you were at the service. Okay. By the way, that's how you yes. say it. I'm going to show this to you. Let's see, and uh, before Jose Vega's participation, right? Here very quickly, um, for religious ceremonies, you say the service, the service is like el culto, right? Um, if you're a Catholic, you say the mass, which is la misa, okay? So uh, for different religions here or beliefs, right? The mass is la misa, the service is el culto, 
right? So that's how it is. Okay, Jose Vega wanted to participate. Yes, and and yesterday I got up at 10 a.m. Oh my God, that's very late. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so, okay, let me ask you then. What were you doing at 2 p.m. yesterday? Um, I talk, quería tomar coffee and coffee with my son. Okay, so you say I... I, I was, I was, took coffee with my son. Okay, but remember the structure, right? You have to use was and the next verb in ing. So I was taking or I was drinking. I, we, I was drinking coffee with my son. Okay, I was drinking coffee yes. with my son. Okay, very good. Do you have a son? You look very young. Okay, very young. Okay, good. Nice to spend some time with your son. That's very good. Okay, uh, everybody, thank you for your participation. Let's continue. The past continuous has this structure. For affirmative sentences, you need to use the subject and then was or where. Now, here you have to be very careful because it depends on the subject. If the subject is I, he, she, or it, you need to use was. If the subject is we, you, or they, then you use where, all right? So the kid, Susan, sorry, because Susan is she, Susan was watching TV. The kids, the kids is the equivalent of, well, it's like they were playing baseball. The kids were playing baseball. In the negative form, you just need to use the negative of the verb being the past, okay? You need the subject plus wasn't or weren't, and then the verb in ing. Susan wasn't watching TV. The kids weren't playing baseball. And for the question form, you know the subject and the verb be change places, and then you have your question. You use was or were plus the subject and then the verb in ing, and you finish with a question mark. So Susan, sorry, was Susan watching TV? Were the kids playing baseball? That's your question. Now, something that I want you to notice right here is that you use the verb in ing in all forms, affirmative, negatives, and question. Okay? Este no es como el past simple que se ocupa la forma en pasado en las afirmativas y en las negativas y en las preguntas, el verbo vuelve a su forma base. Aquí no. Aquí va en las afirmativas, negativas y las preguntas va a utilizar siempre el verb be y va a utilizar el verbo principal en ing. No hay cambio en ese caso. Ok, so very careful. So what are we going to do? We didn't do this exercise last time. Complete the sentences, choose from. And we're going to do it here uh, spontaneously. Ok, we're going to work on the breakout rooms, but not for this exercise. We're going to do that later. So right now I need volunteers. Complete the sentences, choose from, was looking, was raining, was wearing, was working, wasn't listening, were sitting, weren't looking, were you going? That's a question. So what about number one? I need a volunteer. This is a copy paste exercise. Jenny Sanchez wants to participate. Okay, Jenny. Today, Helen, Helen is wearing pants. Yesterday, she was wearing a skirt. Yesterday she was wearing a skirt. Excellent. Thank you, Jenny. Very good. What about number two? Volunteer, please. Raise your hand. Michelle Escobar and then Natalie. We have the ladies participating a lot today. What happened to the boys? Okay, Michelle. What did the teacher say? I don't know. I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening. Okay, very good. Thank you, Michelle. That's correct. What did the teacher say? And the other person says, I don't know. I wasn't listening. Thank you. Uh, Natalie Alejandra, please. Number three. Um, 
And then Luis Enriquez will go with number four. We were sitting at the back of the room. We could hear well. well. Correct. We were sitting at the back of the room. We couldn't hear well. Very good. Luis Enriquez will take number four and Manuel Aristides number five. So thank you, Natalie. Uh, Luis, please, number four. Number four. Mm -hmm. This time last year, James uh, was working in a restaurant. That is correct. This time last year, James was working in a restaurant. Excellent. Manuel Aristides is next, number five, and Alejandra Magaña will take number six. Okay. Maybe they didn't see me. Uh, they were you going in my direction? Maybe. Mm, not exactly. No. It's a different no. one. Okay. You get a second opportunity. Ah, where, weren't as, as a, they didn't see me. They weren't looking in my direction. Correct. Very good. They okay. weren't looking in my direction. Excellent. Thank you, Manuel. Uh, Alejandra, we'll take number six, please. Okay. The water was wet. It was very cold and it was raining. It was very cold and it was raining. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Alejandra. Uh, number seven Who wants to participate. Francisco Isaac. Hello, I saw you in a taxi. Where were you going? Where were you going? Correct. Very good. It's a question. I saw you in a taxi. Where were you going? Thank you, Francisco Isaac. Very good. Number eight, the last one. Who wants to participate? No sé si Manuel quería participar de nuevo si... Nada más se le olvidó bajar la manita. Se me olvidó, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so who wants to go for the last one? Number eight, please. Need a volunteer. Imelda. Imelda? Uh, so, Michael, a few minutes ago. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. I saw Michael a few minutes ago. He was looking for you. He was looking for you. Very good. Thank you, Imelda. I saw Michael a few minutes ago. He was looking for you. I have a chat entry here. Ah, okay. Jose Vega is going to get out of the meeting and enter again. Okay. we we'll wait for you, Jose. No problem. Okay, so um, let's continue. Okay, that's the exercise right here. And uh, there's a little bit more of explanation for us. Now, look, past simple versus past continuous. It's possible to use both tenses in one sentence. How do you do that? Past simple. What did you do yesterday morning? Now, this is a question in past simple. What did you do? yesterday morning. We played tennis from 10 to 11.30. Now, if you look at the timeline right here, they started at 10 and they continued playing, they continued playing, and then at 10.30, one hour and a half later, they said, okay, that's the end of the match. We're tired, we need to drink some water. Let's stop right here. We'll continue next week. Okay, so they played tennis from 10 to 11.30. It was a complete action. They began and they finished. But what about the past continuous? Let's take a look. What were you doing at 10.30? Okay. We were playing tennis. Okay. No puedo, estoy en clase. Decirle a Abby. Okay. <laughs> uh, just a second. Okay, here we go. So we were playing tennis. What were you doing at 10.30? We were playing tennis. So we started, or they started at 10, and they finished at 11.30. 
But at 1030, in that moment specifically, they were playing tennis, okay? In that moment, the action was not complete. In that moment, the action was in progress. It was an ongoing action. So when I say we played tennis, that's a complete action. But when we say we were playing tennis, that was an action in progress in a specific moment in the past. So you have some examples here. Jack read a book yesterday. Okay, that means from beginning till the end, from page number one to page 200. Okay, so he read a complete book. That's the idea. If somebody tells you, I read a book yesterday, that means the whole book. Now, let's take a look at the sentence. Jack was reading a book when the phone rang. Estaba leyendo un libro cuando sonó el teléfono. So when I say Jack was reading a book, this means the action was not complete. The action was in progress. When another action interrupted. And what was the action? The phone rang. That's an interrupting action. Let's have another example. Did you watch the movie on TV last night? The complete movie. Were you watching TV when I called you? That was an action in progress. So let's take a look at this. You can say that something happened that is past simple in the middle of something else, past continuous. Example, Anna called me while we were having dinner. What is that? Take a look. There is an action in progress. We were having dinner. That's the action in progress. So they began, they were eating, talking, etc., etc. And then what happened? Anna called me. Okay. This action interrupted the first action. You can also say, it was raining when I got up. Estaba lloviendo cuando me levanté. Or, I hurt my back while I was working in the garden. Okay, that's another way. I hurt my back while I was working in the garden. Me lastimé la espalda mientras trabajaba en el jardín, o cuando estaba trabajando en el jardín. So, as you can see, there is an action in progress, and the action in progress begins first, okay? It begins first. It was raining when I got up. That means I was on my bed, it started to rain, and then I got up, and it finished raining later. Or I hurt my back while I was working in the garden. That means that first I started working in the garden, I was cutting the, you know, the I don't know, the plants, okay, the bad plants. There is another word, but I don't want to say it. Okay, I was cutting the bad plants right there. And then suddenly, oh, I heard my back. So there was an action in progress. And then another action that interrupted. So that's the idea. Before we continue, do you understand? Do you have any questions? No questions. Okay. Well, we'll continue then. Now, be careful with this. When introduces a clause in past simple. Okay. While usually introduces a clause in past continuous. ¿Qué es esto? Cuando usted encuentra la palabra when, normalmente esta palabra precede al past simple. Así que esta es una clave. Cuando usted vea when, ah, ya sabe, ahí sigue past simple. No past continuous. Cuando vea while, lo más normal va a ser que lo que siga esté en past continuous. Se puede ocupar when también para introducir 
una frase en past continuous, pero es más común utilizar while. Así que when, por lo general, va antes del past simple y while, por lo general, va antes del past continuous. Aquí tenemos unos ejemplos. We were having dinner when Matt called me. Now, you can say this sentence in a different way. You can say, Matt called me while we were having dinner. And it's the same idea. Okay? If I say, we were having dinner when Matt called me, that's good. If I say, Matt called me while we were having dinner, that's also good. It's the same idea, but you said it in a different way. Now, look. When comes before past simple. While comes before past continuous. That's the thing. What about this sentence right here? I was studying for a test when I heard a strange noise. Who can tell me a different version of this sentence? ¿Quién me puede decir una versión distinta de esa oración? Parecida al ejemplo que está anteriormente. Volunteers, please. Natalie. Um, I hear a strange noise while I was studying for a test. Correct. I heard the strange noise while I was studying for a test. Excellent. Thank you, Natalie. Very good. So I heard the strange noise while I was studying for a test. La idea es exactamente la misma. Solo cambia el orden y cambia when por while. Pero es la misma idea. What about the second one? Sorry, not the second one, the third one. Sandra finished the report while we were having lunch. Sandra terminó el reporte mientras nosotros estábamos almorzando. So Sandra finished the report while we were having lunch. How do you say this sentence, but using when? Michelle. We were having lunch when Sandra finished the report. That is correct. Very good. We were having lunch when Sandra finished the report. Great. That's how it is. Very good. And the last one, I saw Daniel while I was walking the dog. How do you say this in a different way? Mm -hmm. Amilcar. Uh I was walking the dog uh, when I saw Daniel. Correct. Very good. I was walking the dog when I saw Daniel. Good. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we'll continue now. There's an exercise right here that we need to do. Okay. This is your turn. Match the two halves of the sentences. You say, for example, when I arrived at the theater, number two goes, we fell asleep. Number three is Robert learned to speak French. Number four, Alex didn't come out with us. Number five, the car began to make a strange noise. Number six, the TV was on. And number seven, when I first met Jocelyn, now you need to match the two parts of the sentences. Number one, what is that? A, B, C, D, E, F, or G. We're going to do the first one together. Um, let me see, just before we do that. Here we go. Okay, nice. What about the first one? We're going to do the first one, you know, together, but then you're going to work in pairs for the rest. When I arrived at the theater, what's next? Who knows the answer? Jenny. When I arrived at the theater, 
My cousin was waiting for me. My cousin was waiting for me. That is correct. Very good. When I arrived at the theater, my cousin was waiting for me. Great. I'm going to form the breakout rooms now. You're going to be working in pairs. This is going to be a quick exercise. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have uh, 19 people, so it's going to be nine groups and one, one group of three, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Room one, Griselda Mendoza, Imelda Sanchez, and Jose Vega. Room two, Alejandra Magaña, and Paola Maria. Room three, Morena Medina, and Olivia Osorio. Room four, Claudia Yanet, and Roberto Tovar. Room five, Luis Enriquez, and Rufino Amilcar. Room six, Gladys Campos and Michelle Escobar. Room seven, Francisco Isaac and Sonia Guadalupe. Room eight, Luis Alonso and Jenny Sanchez. Room nine, Manuel Aristides and Natalie Alejandra. I'm going to open the breakout rooms now. Please join your room and uh, let's do the exercise. As usual, I'm going to send you the picture via WhatsApp. Here we go, let's do this. Okay, everybody, the exercise is already on WhatsApp. So if you check the group, you will find it there. I'm going to join the breakout rooms very quickly, one by one, and uh, just wait for me. So el ejercicio ahí, que la primera va con number one and letter F. Do we feel asleep? It's we fell asleep. We fell, we fell asleep. Nos dormimos, this. We fell asleep. Um, Maybe it's much with little, little, little e while. We were traveling by bus. Correct. Yeah, we fell asleep while we were traveling by bus. I'm going to go into a different room. Please continue. Number five. Uh, uh, English, five. English. <laughs> La cinco, la cinco, digo, the number five. The car began to make a strange noise. Um, Alex. Um, she, I think when I was driving, driving home. Yeah. Correct, yeah. very good. Please continue. Mm -hmm. I will go into a different room now. See you. Okay. Bye. Olivia, me la, me la dejaron solita. Sí, estaba este, morena, pero no sé qué le pasó. Se salió. Quizás, se le, quizás perdió conexión. Sí, porque, porque sí se, se le, no se le escuchaba y de repente desaparece. Mm -hmm. Ok. ¿Cómo vamos? Aquí comenzando. En <laughs> the second, we fell asleep. Mm -hmm. We fell but asleep. But no. No but, dormimos, this. We fell asleep. Uh, but no one was watching. 
Mm, I don't think so. It's a different one. Uh, we fell asleep. No dormimos. Oh. When I was driving home. When I was driving home. Pero si se durmió también se estrelló porque se iba manejando. <laughs> Se oh. mataron ahí los dos, dicen, no, no. Sería más bien, we fell asleep, nos dormimos mientras. Mientras. Cuando él, eh, when he was living in Paris. When he was living in Paris. Mm, no, not exactly. It's, it's a bit different. Uh, we fell asleep, letter E, while we were traveling by bus. Mientras viajamos en el bus, nos dormimos. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ese sería la número dos. I'm going to visit a different room. Eh, si gusta la, la, la paso a uno diferente para que no se quede trabajando sola. Ok, ahorita la voy a asignar. Hello. Have you finished? Buenas noches. Hi. Have, have you finished the exercise? Yes, sure. Okay. Hi. What about number seven? Coach, sorry. It's okay. Ahí disculpe por no poder estar cabal porque me, me ha costado porque he venido en vehículo. No se preocupe. Y todo y ahorita no he entendido cómo ha sido la clase. Le pido ah. disculpe por no estar. No, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Ya me ha tocado algo, problemas personales y ahí, uh -huh. por eso que no, le, no he podido estar al 100%. Uh -huh. Y no crea que no tiene interés uno, sino que me, me ha costado hoy, hoy ha sido un no, día sí. difícil. Me imagino, me imagino. Pero no, no se preocupe, no hay ningún problema. Eh, también cuando suceda esto puede comunicármelo vía WhatsApp y así ya okay. estoy yo sabedor de antemano. ¿verdad? Okay. ok, what about Thank number you. seven? You're welcome. What about number seven? Letter, letter B. Can you read the whole sentence, please? When I first met Jocelyn, uh, she was studying law in the university. When I first met Jocelyn, she was studying law at the university. Okay, good, thank you. I'm going to visit a different room. See you in a few minutes. See you. Um, hello, have you finished the exercise? Yes, teacher, we already finished. Okay, good. Can you read number six for me? Okay. Number six, the TV was on, but no one was watching. The TV was on, but no one was watching. Okay, that is good. Thank you. I'm going to go into a different room now. No pude entrar, me sacó. Hi. No hay problema, ya, ya casi terminamos con, con, las, con las salas, no se preocupe. Okay, no sé just... por qué siempre cuando me pasan a sala me saca. ¿De verdad? Sí, siempre, siempre me pasa lo mismo. Ah, pero no es cuestión de este nivel, sino en niveles anteriores también le ha sucedido. No, 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 con este nivel. Ah, de verdad. Sí. Híjole, no tengo idea qué podrá hacer. 
Pero igual, de ahí, si, lo sa si la saca, entonces eh, yo la puedo reasignar otra vez. Vamos a estar ahí más pendientes de eso. Para, ah, ok. Para, ok. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we're going to, probably we're going to end the breakout rooms here. No, one more. Creo que la... Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Ya le hicimos piche de yes. exercise. Ok, can you read number five for me, please? Ok. Compañero. La five. La five. No, number five, yeah, number five. Five. Uh, the car began to let a train line when I, when I was driving home. Yeah, that is correct. The car began to make a strange noise when I was driving home. Okay, good. I have to go into a different room. See you in a few minutes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, five, la C. La cinco y la C. Five, C. Five, C. Hi. Y ahora está. Y ahora está. Ah, have, you, have you finished? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Have you finished the exercise? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Can you read number four, please? Go ahead, Luis. <laughs> number four. Let me see. Number four. Alex didn't come out with us. She. Because he was studying for a test. That is correct. Alex didn't come out with us because he was studying for a test. Very good. Okay, see you in a few minutes. I have to visit the final room. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. This meeting is being. Okay, uh, I've just closed the breakout rooms. Uh, we have 50, 50 seconds. Everybody, you have 50 seconds to come back to the meeting. In the mean, okay, meantime, I'm going to uh, share the screen with you again. There it is. Okay, everybody. Number one, when I arrived at the theater, my cousin was waiting for me. What about number two? Manuel. Uh, we feel asleep. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, while we were traveling by bus. While we were traveling by bus, that is correct. Very good. Okay. Um, Alejandra, number three, please. Robert learned to speak French when he was living in Paris. Robert learned to speak French when he was living in Paris. That is good. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Olivia, you take number four. Okay, Sonia, number five, and Paola, number six, please. Alex did, did not come out with you because he was studying for a test. Okay. Yeah, Alex didn't come out with us because he was studying for a test. Very good, Olivia. Uh, Sonia, please, number five. The car began to make a strange noise uh, when I was driving home. Okay, uh, pronunciation. The car began, the car began, began making a strange began noise a strange when noise. I was driving home. Driving home. Correct, very good. Uh, Paola, number six, please. About number six. The TV was on 
Mm -hmm. uh, but no one was watching. The TV was on, but no one was watching. No one was watching. Very good. Nice. And seven. Jenny, okay, the last one, when number seven. When I first met Joseph, when I when first met Joseph, 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 she was studying law at the university. When I first uh, met Jocelyn, she was studying law at university. That is correct. Yeah, that's the one. Very good. Okay. We don't have much time. We only have a few minutes. So uh, before we continue, I need to ask, ¿Alguien ha tenido dificultades con los ejercicios de la plataforma? Sonia. Sí, teacher. Ajá, yeah. veamos, ¿cuál, cuál sería? Eh, en la primera parte, en, el, en, los, en la unidad 1, ahí parte, hay... Veamos, vamos a compartir por acá. Veamos, veamos. solo regálenme un momentito en todo lo que lo carga. Ok, sería... La sección 1, me dijo. Sí, 1.9. Bueno, veamos. Ok. Ah, veamos. El knowledge check. Instructions, complete these sentences using the simple present passive form of the verse in brackets. Remember the structure. B plus the verb in past participle. Okay, sería many crops. Esto es el passive voice, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo nos queda la primera? Veamos, aquí eh, cualquiera puede participar, cualquiera que lo desee. Many, many crops ground. Uh -huh. uh, uh, are, 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 ah, are ah. ground. Are, are. ground. Uh, yeah. In Taiwan, right? Let's zoom uh -huh. in. Let's un poquito más grande. In Taiwan. Okay, many crops are grown in Taiwan. Uh, Para estos ejercicios. Solo, only, 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 only the bird are, with, are grown. With... No more, no more. Just this, just are grown. Only that. Many crops are yes, grown, no more. Ok, no more than that. All right. Vaya, uh -huh. eh, cuando resolvamos estos ejercicios, siempre hay que tener cuidado de ver algunas cosas. Por ejemplo, a veces a nosotros se nos van, digamos, dos espacios. Si se nos van dos espacios, no nos va a tomar malo. Acuérdense que eh, la plataforma ya tiene un set de respuestas aprobado. Entonces... Eh, como se califica automáticamente, pues no hay distinción entre una pequeña equivocación que exista o no exista. Digamos, si fuera en mi caso, si yo viera que ustedes le ponen, digamos, un doble espacio, yo lo pongo, bueno, pues porque yo sé que es un error ahí de dedo. Pero la computadora no distingue esos errores. Entonces siempre fíjense que no vaya... El punto al final también. Ah, ah también, ¿verdad? Si sí, hay que poner la oración completa, como dice Imelda, y no le ponemos el punto final, o no la iniciamos con mayúscula, o resulta que al principio pusimos un espacio de más, o resulta que al final pusimos un espacio de más. Todas esas cosas pueden afectar nuestra respuesta y va a decir uno, pero ¿por qué está mala? Si yo estoy seguro que está bien, ¿verdad? A lo mejor sí está bien la respuesta, solo que, como les digo, ¿verdad? La máquina no... Ve una pequeña diferencia y automáticamente la califica como incorrecto. Vamos a ver. Number two. Some crops. Some crops. Are consumed. Are consumed locally. Consumed. What about number three? Other crops. Are exported. Are exported. What about number four? Rice. Rice. Is cultivated. It's cultivated. cultivated. Okay. Cultivated. We say rice is because rice is an uncountable noun. Yeah. Okay. Number five. A wide variety of seafood is caught. Is caught. Is caught. 
mm -hmm. is cut. What about number six? Many people are employed. Are employed in the electronic and textile industries. Okay. What about number seven? French and English? Are spoken. Are spoken. Okay. Are spoken. Okay. In Canada. Okay. How about number eight? The U.S. Is made up. Is made up of 50 states. Okay, is made up. You say the U.S. because the U.S. is the name of a country. It's just one country, yes. so we say it's made up. Good. What about number nine? A lot of sheep are raised. Are raised. Are raised. Are raised, are raised. Are raised are in raised. New Zealand. And number 10, cars and computers. Are manufactured. Ajá. Y aquí, por cierto, aparece esta palabra que está mal escrita. Está mal escrita. Manuca Correcto. Manufactured. Dice. Uh -huh. Okay, no, sería manufactured. manufactured. Sería are yes. manufactured in Korea. Bueno, Pero veamos. Pero en el traductor y lo pone como manufacturado también. Ajá. Sí. Bueno, ahí vamos. Ah, are manufactured in Korea. Lo autocorrige, ¿verdad? Vamos a enviar. Y ahí va. Ahí están todas. Ok. All right. Les voy a dejar una tareita pequeñita. Solo me van a tener que escribir una oración. Your turn. Look. Write one sentence using both the past simple and the past continuous. ¿Qué va a poner usted? Lo que usted quiera, pero que sea lógico. Aquí tengo un ejemplo yo. On January the 13th, 2001, ¿se acuerdan qué pasó ese día? I was doing the dishes when the earthquake began. Ese día hubo un terremoto en El Salvador. Entonces, yo literalmente eso estaba haciendo. Tenía como 15 años. So, on January the 13th, 2001, I was doing the dishes mm -hmm, when the earthquake began. So, that's my sentence. I want you to write one sentence. Okay, one sentence. Usted puede ocupar esta misma, digamos, este mismo contexto. Puede decir, eh, puede hablar del terremoto, pero si usted quiere hablar de otra cosa, porque a lo mejor esto no le trae buenos recuerdos, puede ser cualquier otra cuestión. No hay ningún problema. Entonces, este sería mi ejemplo. Right? On January 13th, 2001, I was doing the dishes when the earthquake began. Así que, esa es su tarea. Una oración ocupando past simple y past continuous. Past continuous para una acción que estaba en proceso, en progreso, pero que no había terminado cuando otra acción la interrumpió. Esa acción que interrumpió va en past simple. ¿Ok? Or do you do uh, uh, other, other time? Other time. Important. I'm sorry? You're breaking out. Es parece, es parece año, parece ah, no, 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 puede estuve, ser. Estuvimos. No, puede ser cualquier cosa. Este solo es el ejemplo que les doy yo. Okay. Pero puede ser cualquier okay. otra situación. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahora, si usted quiere escribir qué estaba haciendo cuando empezó el terremoto, también puede hacerlo, ¿verdad? En mi caso, yo estaba lavando trastes. ¿verdad? Pero a lo mejor usted estaba haciendo otra cosa, iba manejando, iba caminando, iba, no sé, estaba desayunando. Bueno, un poco tarde para desayunar no esa hora, pero... No son, no son. No son, no, 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 no. No son. Ok. All right. Um, that will be it. That's homework for tomorrow. We're going to check this first thing tomorrow when we begin the class. Ok. Great teacher. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you. Tomorrow. And Thank you. Uh, see you Thank tomorrow. You, Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.